Welcome back to Miles Around. So let's get into our first in the driver's seat and we're taking a look at this. It's the new Volvo S80 and it's an all-wheel drive. Now when you think Volvo, you think safety. Remember, this was one of the first car companies to crash test cars. They also invented the seatbelt. But now safety is also being joined by performance. These cars are getting better and faster and much more exciting. Dennis? You know, that's the thing about this new S80 is the way that Volvo's been able to take performance, their all-wheel drive system, and rapid into their new cars. The Volvo S60 was one of the first designs that I saw Volvo take a huge step forward in design and innovative looks. Now, they've blended that into the S80 now. Probably the best looking Volvo I've ever seen, the all-wheel drive system, the 300 plus horsepower under the hood. We're going to take a look at all that. We're going to take a look at some of the innovative safety systems like Bliss and the heads-up display. But for now, let's take a look under the hood. <laughs> Once you get the hood open, you can see this V8 aluminum engine supplied by Yamaha is the same one you'll find in Volvo's XC90. Dennis? 311 horsepower and 325 pounds-feet of torque, and they have an adaptive all-wheel drive system that has a suspension setting with comfort, sport, and advanced settings on it. To put it mildly, you can have your comfort setting, which is, of course, the softly sprung luxury car that you expect from the S80, the Sport, which is kind of an in-between, and then the Advance, where it kind of sharpens up the suspension for curvy roads or if you just want a little bit more input from the steering. Now, the thing that really makes this vehicle really put the power on the ground is that all-wheel drive system that I mentioned. It's seamless and adaptive, and it really does bring this car together. It's the best of Volvo, which is their comfort, and it's the new kind of era of Volvo, which is a performance background. This Yamaha motor is absolutely exquisite. First thing you're going to notice when you're walking around the new S80 all-wheel drive V8 is the new restyled front sheet metal. Probably the biggest attribute of why I think this is the best looking Volvo so far. The other thing you're going to notice is this little panel on the grill. It's a collision warning system that ties into the cruise control, as well as some of the other systems we're going to talk about in a second for safety. But more importantly, to put it into layman's terms, it's the system that smacks you in the back of the head like your wife does when you're about to hit something staring off into space. Move a little forward. Now, this sport model comes with very attractive 18-inch rims and Pirelli P0 tires. Very grippy, very soft tire that gives good feedback to the driver, but moving down, Nick's got a couple things you want to talk about. Let's talk about the Bliss system. This is one of Volvo's great safety inventions. Now, you know you've been driving down the freeway and you want to move into your left-hand lane and you look in your mirror and it seems all clear and you start to move over only to have somebody honk because they're sitting in your blind spot. Well, that no longer happens with the Bliss system. What the Bliss system has is a small camera under here and that camera will look to see if there's a vehicle in your blind spot. At that point, it shows you in the mirror that there is something in your blind spot so then you can look over your shoulder before moving over into the lane. I think that's great, it's safe, and it's something that people should have done years ago with these cars. You can also look about a couple of other things in this car. It's such a beautiful, almost crescent moon shape here on the side, keyless entries, and I love the antenna. This is something you might have found on a real upscale BMW German type of car. Now these antennas are on Volvos. It looks stylish, and it's functional too. Well, now that we have the doors open and looking at the interior, one of the things that sounds kind of silly saying with a Volvo is whips and sips. Well, it's another couple of acronyms that go along with Volvo. It's whiplash protection and side impact protection systems. The Volvo's always made a name for themselves about safety. Now, in the back, there's a little bit to talk about as well. Actually, in the back, one thing I noticed about this car, first of all, there's plenty of room to actually get three people in the back seat. Now, quite often, cars say they get three people in. They have three seat belts in the back, but they're never really wide enough to get three adults in the back. Well, it looks you like there's one seat back there, Nick. Yeah, that's your child's car seat. That's not necessarily for me. I like the inside of the doors are nicely padded. They've also got nice wood trims, and also the seats are very comfortable. It's not as firm as you would expect in some European cars. They're actually more of a sort of an American luxury. Now that we've taken a look at a lot of the safety features and the performance items and the mechanical items that are go along with this new S80 all-wheel drive, we have to talk about some of the little things that makes Volvo so much different than a lot of the car companies out there. One is this key fob, and it's the first thing that caught my eye. Not only does it kind of slip into the dash like a little credit card or an ATM, it starts the car, and it can even unlock the doors as you walk up to it, but more importantly, it has what's called a heartbeat sensor. Now, how safe is that? 
It could actually sense, say if you, your wife or your better half was walking up to the vehicle, it could sense if there was someone in the vehicle and alert you to that before you ever got up to the vehicle so you could walk away with safety. Now you could talk about the 650 watt optional audio system with the three channel stereo system in the front. Great separation, great control of the sound, very loud but very crisp. And of course it comes with things like leather seats, leather steering wheel, an information system that has just about any, any kind of measurement you'd want, sunroof, all the little amenities that you'd want from a luxury vehicle. Volvo has a great driver's position and a great intuitive way that all of the heating and air conditioning controls come easily at hand. It's one of the best interiors I've seen on any luxury car lately. So we've taken a look around Volvo's new S80 all-wheel drive and Dennis, like every week, can you find two ups for me in this vehicle? Well, it's easy. That 4.4 liter dual overhead cam V8 churning out over 300 horsepower accompanied by the all wheel drive system really do serve up performance to the Volvo buyer that wants it. The other side is what I think a lot of the Volvo buyers always do come back to the brand for, safety. All the safety features in this vehicle are just second to none, and it really does personify what Volvo's all about. Can you find something that's down? I know you like this vehicle an I awful do. lot, but can you find something that's down about it? It's, it was a little bit persnickety, a little bit nitpicky, but you know what it is? There's no audio chime for the Bliss or the front end collision warning system. I know that they have lights that will tell you something is upcoming, but I think there should be something that tells you audio size as far as when you're not looking in the right direction. Let me tell you about the things I really liked about this vehicle. Taking another look at that dash, it's absolutely incredible. There's so much technology there and it's so well laid out. And the headroom in the back, I don't think Volvo have ever had that much headroom in the back of the vehicle. Now the thing I don't like about this vehicle vehicle so much is the fact of anybody who's going to buy a Volvo, I think mid-50s is more money than they'll expect to spend for a Volvo this size. So I think the price is the down for me. The 2007 Volvo S80 all-wheel drive comes standard with a 4.4 liter dual overhead cam V8. The base price for this vehicle is $47,350 with an as-tested price of $56,025. The city and highway EPA ratings are 17 miles per gallon in the city and 25 on the highway.